Hi everyone, it's Mike with Living Wisconsin, and I want to thank you for joining us today. Today we are going to look at screen replacement for your home. These can get a little expensive, so if you want to do it yourself, you're definitely going to save some money. There's a lot of different options out there, a lot of different screen materials and tools. I'm going to show you what I'm using. Hopefully it'll be able to help you out in your project. If you find value in this video, I would appreciate a big thumbs up below and hey, hit that subscribe button. It really does make a difference in keeping the channel going. Let's get to it. So let's cover the materials that you're going to need for this project. You're going to need some spline material, assuming you're using the existing frame. Spline material, utility knife, pliers, spline tool, and a screwdriver. Some accessories that you might want to have, you're going to see these tabs that sometimes are on the inside of your screen. That's so you can hold your screen while you insert it into position. Uh, you could pick some of these up at your hardware store and install that during this process as well, which we'll, we'll, we will cover. The first thing you'll want to do is remove your old spline material and screen. This can be accomplished with a screwdriver. Just give it a pry from the corner on the spline material. I like to use my pliers to get it going. Once it's going, you're going to need a nice flat work surface. Hold it down and just slowly pull on that spline all the way around until it's all removed. Once the spline material is removed, go to the corner of your screen and slide your screwdriver up and down a little bit in each direction. If these screens have been in there for a while, they're going to be almost molded to the existing aluminum frame. Once you do that, if you push from the bottom side, it'll start real easy to remove. And from there, just keep pulling until your screen is removed. Now that your screen is removed, the track where the spline material lies will need to be nice and clean, and you might have residual screen material in there. So make sure that you just run your screwdriver and clean this out all the way around so you have a nice surface to install the new material into. One note here, you'll see that we have those tabs I was previously talking about. These, again, can be picked up at hardware stores. They just lie right in here. And when you install the screen and the spline, it holds that in place so you can hold your screen when you're installing. Now is an excellent opportunity to take some soapy water and a washcloth and clean off your frame material for the new material to be installed. So let's take a couple of our tabs. We'll set these in the locations that we want. We'll take our screen material and we are going to lay this down. You know, before we do that, let's talk about that spline material. They make a lot of different sizes and how you choose that size is to measure the channel that it lies into. Let's take a tape measure. Mine is 1 8 inch. I picked up some 1 8 inch spline material. So moving back to the screen, and this is a fiberglass screen that we've gone with. I know there's a lot of different kinds out there. This is the easiest to install. So let's get uh, this unraveled. I did one screen already. So when you get this laid out, you're looking for about a one inch overhang past the frame. It'll give you some, some uh, room for any mistakes you might made and some area to trim off once this is all installed. So we will put that in place. Okay, once you have enough material there, you want to take your razor blade and trim it off so you have a shorter piece to work with. This stuff cuts very easily. So, when starting your spline insert, now this is all going to be one piece. You don't need to put this in one side at a time. Start it in the corner, take your screwdriver just to get it started. Be very careful when you do this because if you slip, you're going you're gonna to tear your screen, especially this fiberglass. Although it's easy to install, it is 
probably one of the most fragile materials as in easiest to tear out there. So now we have our spline tool, and all the spline tool has two sides to it. One has a, a bit of a groove, you can see that. So that spline material will fit right in there and help you track that right in there. The other side is more, more of a wedge, just a, a, a piece of plastic that's going to help with the installation as well. Anyhow, we will start by just pushing down, and then that pushes right into the channel. You want to make sure that the spline seats all the way to the bottom of the channel for a good secure fit. As you're working your way down, be mindful to keep the screen a little bit taut. Pull this way on it to keep the bubbles out of it. Although this will work itself out as you work around the frame, you, you don't want too much excess bubble to form. And this is, uh, you know, your tabs, you can switch sides of the tool. That'll help you press that down in there. The tight, the, the fit gets a little bit tight. So take your time, work it in there until it's seated properly. The last step is to trim your screen material. Make sure your utility knife is very sharp and you are very careful not to put your hand in the way to hold the frame down when you're, you're cutting this. Make sure your hand is out of the way and what you're doing is going very slowly and carefully trimming your material as close to the spine, spline material as you can. Okay, that looks great. And that wraps it up for today. I hope this content was useful. Down below, you're gonna find in the description box a list of the tools and supplies that I used for this project. I hope it helps you out, and I'll see you next time.